what an opportunity for these guys. I know someone like Noel Underwood coming from Yarrabah, a completely different environment. This could be life changing for blokes like him. Yeah, oh, most definitely. Um, all the guys have got uh, uh, good stories to tell. Uh, to get the opportunity to go and work with NRL clubs for a week is invaluable. Uh, a lot of the guys have never given up on a dream of playing in the NRL, uh, so they get a chance to go and see where they're at, but more importantly get a chance to play in a game next week against Newcastle and show their wares and who knows uh, what may come from that. What, what do you want to see out of them? What's, what's your main message to these guys to get out of this couple of weeks? I think it's about uh, learning um, and trying to uh, go to the club and, and gain as much information as you possibly can, uh, see where they're at, um, and again, uh, keep their eyes and ears open and, and, and listen um, to what uh, the coaches have to say, uh, what the senior players have to say, what they do, how they act. Um, all those little things that you don't get an opportunity to do. You just get to see your heroes and the best players run around uh, on the television. Uh, but to, uh, this week and, and next week they get the chance to actually mix and mingle and, and, um, and see how they, uh, they do it at the NRL uh, level and uh, that'll be invaluable for their experience. There's some real, real talent there. How close are some of these guys to, to maybe cracking it? For a yeah, I think there's certainly a lot of talent. Um, I think one thing we do know, Indigenous boys can play rugby league. Um, um, and these guys uh, are really looking forward to, to being a part of uh, um, uh, the game in a, in a fortnight's time, but also the enjoyment um, and the opportunity to go and work with the NRL clubs and seeing how their heroes operate. And, uh, again, that's, uh, that's a fantastic experience for them pathway from community to the NRL level, obviously a very tricky one sometimes. You, you're obviously there for the boys and making sure that they make the right decisions. Yeah, most definitely. I think that um, that's part of it, you know, learn about the discipline of being involved in the football club, um, knowing that um, you've got a lot of eyes on you, um, people are always watching uh, you every step along the way. Um, and, you know, just to, just to see how the superstars go about it. And for our guys coming from the community, uh, they've never been in a pathway program like this before. They're all excited. Uh, they all want a chance to uh, showcase their wares, and I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll do a good job of that. Laurie, the young guys are going to go into the Indigenous camp with the Indigenous players over the weekend. What sort of experience is that going to be for them? Oh, again, it'll be something that they've never experienced before, uh, learn a lot more about uh, their own culture, um, learn a lot more about themselves and uh, get a chance to, to share their own stories with uh, the uh, Indigenous boys that play in the NRL. And Already I've, I've learnt today about one of our players uh, has dropped 60 kilos uh, over the last two years. Um, his weight ballooned out to 160 kilo. He's down to around 105 and uh, one of the vehicles um, to be able to do that was through Rugby League and the desire to never give up on his dream. Um, so he's really looking forward to it. Uh, he's a leader in his community now um, and it's a, it's a fantastic story.